Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. This is not fake news. This is legit. God of War Ragnarok is officially launching November 9th, 2022. That's right, this year. It is actually happening. We got an update over on the PlayStation blog. It's, that might not have been the way that some people wanted this news. Some of us wanted a state of play. Some of us were just okay with just, you know, the update on a PlayStation blog. And that's kind of how they did it. This also kind of makes sense as this was what was going to be the plan for June 30th. But they did push it back and delay it to today. That today's the official day. So they dropped a bunch of information, uh, pre-order stuff, and then again, just the release date. Along with the cool new CG trailer that for, uh, for the most part, what it is, is it shows Kratos and Atreus kind of working together and fighting and taking down a bunch of enemies. Uh, Kratos gets knocked out. Atreus is kind of like following down. And then they're just like in this forest area. And then it's big. I'm talking big, tremendous, huge, ginormous wolf uh, just appears. And that's kind of where the CG trailer sort of ends. But fans are so quick to already kind of put together who that character is. Um, people are speculating that the character for the big wolf, its name is Fenrir. It has a connection to Loki. So I'm very curious how that's all going to play out. Um, but that's pretty much it for the CG trailer. Again, with the release date of November 9th, 2022 for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. But not just that, we also got a look at the different uh, additions that you can pre-order for the game. There's so many different types of bundles here. So we're going to go through and check them out. They did two PlayStation blog posts, one of that information that I just gave you, and then the second one that drops all the different additions that you can see for this game. And again, there's quite a few here. So we're gonna go ahead and read through them on the PlayStation blog. Also, if you want to see it in a video, they had Ryan Hurst, the motion capture and voice actor of Thor, and then Sony Santa Monica Studios art director Raphael. They did a cool like unboxing video, I think of some of the different additions that you can see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Um, do you remember pre-orders begin july 15th 2022 it says uh 10 a.m my local time i think which is eastern time so definitely want to check that out for your time zones um, but july 15th save the date especially if you're trying to get the big big bundles that they have here so we're going to go ahead and go through each of them starting with the launch edition bundle that's coming for god of war ragnarok it's essentially coming with the game and just some downloadable content uh it's gonna you're gonna be getting the kratos risen snow armor and the atreus risen snow tunic basically some cosmetic stuff that you're getting then there's just the standard edition of the game that just comes right with the uh either digital or physical whichever one you do uh just comes with the full copy of the game and what's cool is if you did get the uh playstation 4 version because you just only have a playstation 4 right now but you hopefully plan to get that playstation 5 one um they are going to make it that you can upgrade to the playstation 5 version for just 10 and you that's 10 dollars in u.s currency but whatever currency equivalent is to you uh for here it is 10 dollars. so at least they're giving you an upgrade path it's not free you know that that might be the argument but at least it's better than just making you forcing you to buy a brand new copy of the game for your ps5 so that's one thing now digital deluxe edition for god of War ragnarok is also going to be a thing and this is where I have to start reading the list because now they're giving a bunch of info here. So included in the God of War Ragnarok Digital Deluxe Edition, you will receive a full God of War Ragnarok game on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. You're going to get the Kratos and Atreus Darkdale armor and attire. Again, more cosmetics. Uh, the Darkdale Blades handles for the Blades of Chaos and the Darkdale Axe grip for Leviathan Axe. The official God of War Ragnarok Digital soundtrack, which is pretty cool. Dark Horse Digital mini art book and an avatar set, which is nice and a PlayStation 4 theme. That just unfortunately sucks for those of us who have PlayStation 5s and just don't have themes anymore. But hey, for PlayStation 4 fans, at least they get that. Like at least they're able to get that. And I mean, the fact that they're able to even still play the game, I think it's so cool. So I'm glad that they're, you know, still doing the PS4 themes. I had to check out that PS4 theme because that's really cool to see. Now, again, that was the digital deluxe edition. Moving up to the collector's edition. This is probably, I think the second biggest one. Now with the collector's edition, Basically what you're gonna see is, let me see, you're gonna get the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. That's kind of what's coming with this big box along with a bunch of other goodies here. But uh, in this Knowledge Keeper Shrine, you're gonna get a printed voucher code for the full God of War Ragnarok game on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. A steelbook display case that has no game included, so just keep that in mind. Um, and they're also describing as the steelbook display case. Uh, has a rendition of the bear and the wolf on it, which is really cool. You're going to get a two inch veneer twins carvings. Uh, they're describing it as in the same style as Atreus, wooden toy carvings of the Holdra brothers from the God of War 2018 collector's edition, which is pretty cool. You're going to get the Dwarven's dice set, 
uh, again, they're describing it as this set comes with a set of dice with a quality wood like finish and a dice bag with a symbol of Yagadrasil's on the outside. I might have mispronounced that, but that's definitely from the last game as well. Then there's the 16 inch Mjolnir replica, which is so freaking cool. Uh, again, they're describing it as a highly detailed replica of Thor's signature weapon from God of War Ragnarok. And again, it includes a lot of stuff from that digital collection, like the Darkdale armor set for both Atreus and Kratos, right? Even the uh, weapon skins, kind of uh, the God of War Ragnarok uh, digital soundtrack, the Dark Horse digital mini art book, Avatar Site, PlayStation 4 theme. You're probably gonna see a lot of this stuff now for the last set which is the which is the most premium this is the most premium selection you can possibly get and i think this is the one that i'm going to try my best to get don't know how that's going to work out but i'm going to try and this is the god of war ragnarok jotnar edition now this comes with a couple more things of course including some of the stuff that you've just seen in the uh, previous one of the digital and then of the and of the collectors so in the jotnar edition what you're going to be able to see is inside the knowledge of keeper shrine you're going to get again the printed voucher code for the full God of War Ragnarok game on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. The seven inch now vinyl record with music by Bear McCreary, which is really cool. The Falcon, Bear, and the Wolf pin set. This one I wanna read. The description for that is representing Faye, Kratos, and Atreus. Respectively, this pin set symbolizes our hero's family. That's really cool to see. I definitely wanna get my hands on that. They're also gonna have the legendary drop near ring, which is pretty cool. It's a ring from the Norse mythology, they said. You're gonna get Brock's dice set, which is nice. Again, you're gonna get that Yagatril cloth map this time. It shows a, a map that shows each of the nine realms within the branches of the roots of the Yagatril. There's gonna be a steelbook display case again, and the two inch uh, veneer twin carvings and the 16 inch Mjolnir replica. And again, the stuff that I mentioned before from the digital, which is like, you know, the armor sets of the Darkdale, again, for the weapons, right? That digital soundtrack, avatar set, PlayStation 4 theme, and the uh, Dark Horse digital mini art book and that's pretty much it for all the news that we got so we got the release date november 9th we got the pre-order start date which is going to be july 15th so those are two dates you need to mark on your calendar especially if you're trying to pre-order and get one of these like bigger editions you're going to want to do everything you possibly can to you know make sure you're giving yourself enough time again for me for eastern uh in us it is saying 10 a.m so I'm not sure if that can help anybody else, but just keep that in mind as well. Obviously go to the PlayStation blog uh, website as well to just in case maybe it updates for you and gives you a better time. But just keep in mind when pre-orders go live for these things, they are absolutely nuts. You might have to like quadruple checkout sometimes just to make sure you're actually able to get a checkout. Um, but yeah, so definitely keep that in mind. Again, on the PlayStation blog, they do have a cool unboxing done with Ryan Hurst. Uh, voice actor of Thor, and then Sony Santa Monica Studios, Raphael, uh, their art director. So if you want to go check out an unboxing, an early unboxing, go ahead and do that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Also on the uh, PlayStation blog on one of their, on the first one, where it gave you the CD trailer uh, for God of War Ragnarok, they also did drop some brand new stills from that CD trailer. So if you want some, you know, cool wallpapers and whatnot, they did a good job of dropping some nice looking stills there. Again, just showcasing how beautiful this game is. It, it's looking pretty big. And there's also another kind of big question as to like, people are wondering like, like this is it. This is all you're gonna show us until the game releases. And I have to say more than likely, we're definitely the beginning. I don't know if it'll be a state of play, but I would not be surprised at this point because we've seen that PlayStation is not gonna be in like a lot of these upcoming events. It seems like PlayStation most likely is gonna return for a big PlayStation showcase event. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for more gameplay, like where is it at? I think we're gonna get more for God of War Ragnarok and an upcoming big PlayStation showcase event, probably around September, I think it's, that seems to be the sweet spot. So just keep that in mind. But that's it. I'm Jared with Five Men Direct and give us your thoughts down below on God of War Ragnarok's release date and pre-order info.